welcome to the working woman series so this series is a series that was loved so much by um when i was still in beauty corner i did the working woman series and i've been asked so many times to bring it back so the working woman series essentially looks at um you know just anything to do with working women working etiquette etiquette at work how do you speak professionally that 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 uh what do you wear to work um uh you know professional work attire or uh you know makeup this this one that we're going to be doing today is my literal 50 minute makeup routine to go to work and guess what it doesn't involve foundation none of it involves any liquid foundation uh, more especially in the summertime maybe in winter i tend to get a little bit of foundation but in the summertime i tend to keep it very very clean I don't want too much on my face and it's literally powder concealer and a couple of other things so that's what we're gonna do today welcome to the working woman series I'm going to show you my quick 15 minute makeup routine I'm normally really out of the house by 6 o'clock every single morning when I'm on my way to work so uh, around half past five I'm applying my makeup quarter to six I'm done and I'm out and I'm on my way to work so but before we start with anything else as you can tell my brows are already done and these are the products that I use for my brows this is the um, Mac spiked eyebrow styler or eyebrow pencil uh, it's got a, a, a what do you call this thing the little brush a spoolie brush on the one end and it's got the pencil on the other end I have been using this for years now I don't use anything else I've never I've tried so many others but that one just works the best for me that one and the benefit precisely my brow are my two of my favorite ones um, and then um, just to set my brows in place my brows last literally the whole day with this product another one creature of habit use it all the time I do not negotiate I use this and I keep it moving this is the Rimmel brow this way brow styling gel with argan oil I use this one all the time and I just pretty much do this I'm looking in the mirror I sit 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 that's it sit 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 so upward motion and then to the side I just sort of pull it to the side so that it doesn't and then that's it from there what I do is I use my LA girl um, I, I, I change them around sometimes I use my LA girl uh, pro conceal concealer which is slightly on the thicker side and then sometimes I use the Mac studio fix 24 hour smooth concealer take it out plonk it literally just a little bit of it I don't go crazy and on top of my lids as well there's a lot of um, finger usage when I use my makeup to go to work a lot of finger usage and I literally just go all around my eye just to cover up the hyperpigmentation so I sort of just pull that concealer further down uh, I put a, a lot of concealer around my eyes because my eyes are darker because of just genetics really everybody in my family um, their eyes are often uh, quite darker I've got a little bit of darkness around my mouth which is another space where I will come in with the LA girl Ellie Ellie the LA girl concealer and I'll just li literally just this is it that's that's honestly all I'd early just so that I have enough time to know so the concealer that I'm using here is the LA girl concealer and it is in fawn um, and I just literally rub it across the areas around my face which are slightly darker and that's it that's honestly it now a trick that I learned from uh, a makeup artist here on YouTube his name I think he's uh, British his name is Robert Walsh really really love him I often get creasing and cracking uh, of my concealer sometimes when I put too much powder in terms of baking and all of that that's why I've never really been a fan of baking and thank goodness he isn't a fan of baking so either so he, he recommended that you don't need to do all of that you don't need to go crazy with the baking and the whatever and the whatever there's no there's no need for that all you need to do is get a powder which my favorite one is the Bobbi Brown uh, press powder sheer finish press powder in number eight soft honey it is deliberately light lighter there's a plan here because I want and I just dip my brush in there like that because I want um, my 
the area around my eyes to be lighter so what he suggests is you literally just put as minimal you don't have to go crazy and I do the same on the other side mm hmm I do I do I do I do that's pretty much what I do and then that's it might look a little bit scary but honestly watch the look come together quickly I just part of my face which is standard I don't I don't mess about with this <laughs> The powder that I use for my face is the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish, which is absolutely amazing. I've always used that powder, especially for when I go to work, because it's got a little bit like, it's got a bit of a sheer glow, which is so, so nice. So nice. And then my bronzing powder is the Bobbi Brown Bronzing Powder in Deep. And I just literally swivel my brush in there just a little bit and i bronze i literally bronze i don't contour i just get a bit of definition right there all over my face i'm not deep contouring i do not have the time for this when i'm going to functions and everything like that i'll definitely contour but if i'm just going to work honey who's got the time okay we just want to bring a little bit of color. Then I follow in with the highlight. Highlight, I always, always apply highlight. Currently, I'm very, very much crazy, still crazy, about the Bobbi Brown Shimmer Brick. And bronze is my favorite one. I've got another one, which is in a brown thing, but I don't know where it is, truthfully. And I just add a bit, literally a bit of highlight. I'm not trying to go crazy, okay? Bit of highlight on my nose. And then for my eyes, I often wing this one. Sometimes I don't put anything on my eyes. Sometimes I do. Uh, if I do put anything on my eyes, I always keep it warm and neutral, which is the uh, um, Morphe Day Slayer palette, which... Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, 15D Day Slayer palette, which I absolutely love. And these are two of my favorite colors. So I dip in here and there. Da -da 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 and uh, they are matte colors and that's what I put on my eyes just for oops wow is that my stomach just for a little bit of color my stomach she's my stomach she's saying gal you're hungry and then to work who wears lashes to work I don't but whoever does I give you 110% props I do not wear lashes to work I don't wear I think it's a waste of lashes. Um, I do not wear lashes to work. So yeah, this gives my eyes a little bit more definition, a little bit more color, which I like. Just keep dipping in there. And then I'll speed this process up. And then <clears throat> once we're done with Morphe here, um, what I always put, what I always do, and I think you guys uh, already know this about me now, I always line my um, waterline with a black marker. What do you call this? This is the Yardley one. This is the retractable eye pencil from Yardley. Always line, always, every day, because I feel like it just makes the eye pop, makes it a little bit more smoky and more darker, which I really like. Once I'm done here, I put a little bit of gloss on. Today we're going to be trying the Wet Look Lip Gloss from Essence because I don't know where my Catrice one is. So, oh, don't think I like it. Same. Should have put in like a little bit of a mauve lipstick on and then put the gloss on top. But that's, a, that's the place where I just literally play around. Um, then after that, of course, we set the makeup. Mm. When I was in my bedroom waiting for the makeup setting spray to dry off, I found my Catrice lip gloss. This is my favorite lip gloss. It was in my bag. I got the lighter version of this lip gloss as well. So these are by far my favorite lip glosses and I feel like I need to uh, get more of them. They remind me very much of the Bobbi Brown lip glosses. They're very thick. At the same time, they last quite a long time. The color payoff is very nice. It doesn't wash me out or anything like that. Um, yeah, so I took the other one off my lips and I added this one. And yeah, once my makeup dries, 
I will put on some mascara, which of course who leaves the house without mascara on. But for today's video, I'm just gonna do a little bit of it because I will be putting on um, lashes for the other videos I'm going to record. So I'm just gonna, I'm not gonna go in too crazy with the mascara on the top here. Uh, and then I just go below. So this look for me can definitely be achieved in 15 minutes. And this is how I wear my makeup to go to work every single day. Uh, if I didn't mention the mascara that I use is the Princess Lashes Mascara. If not, I use this uh, L'Oreal one, which is the Paradise Ecstatic. I like to have two options uh, in my makeup bag, but this is pretty much how I look normally on an everyday basis when I go to work. I hope you enjoyed this makeup for work. Uh, first episode of the Working Woman series. There'll be many more to come. I hope you enjoyed it for now and I am I'm gonna go put on some lashes and then record an <laughs> record. <laughs> I'm gonna go put on some lashes and then record another video. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. This is essentially my makeup look for work, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.